Right here at Galaxy 107 FM 7 after 10 o'clock. It is 20 degrees. Barbara, I win again. That's another one on the uh, on the books for this week. That is Wednesday, September 18. And absolutely elated, folks, especially you guys joining us live on Facebook right now. And Levi, we'll give you a copy of everything we do here. Believe me, you'll absolutely love it, including maybe... Oh. A, a couple of crazy photos, you'll be able to put them on your phone, show all your friends, say don't do this with Kiwis, it's not healthy, uh, but <laughs> believe me, we're about to have a little bit of fun. Levi, welcome to the show, Levi KB. Thank you so much, thank you for having me, it's an honour. It is an absolute uh, pleasure for us to be able to catch up, and believe me, uh, we've been loving your music, we've been playing it now for a couple of weeks, and uh, people have been absolutely adopting it. Now, yeah, I'm a little confused, and I've got to be honest with you, I know that you're a Scotsman in America, but your music sounds Amer American, it doesn't sound Scottish at all. Where's your accent on there? Yeah, no, that's good. Yeah, that's good. You have to ask God that one. Um, even in Scotland, if I went to um, places and I didn't speak, and people were like, in what part of Texas are you from? And I'm like, no, I'm from here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, believe me, when we first heard it, uh, we were sitting there talking to the production team. They came to me and they went, but he's a Scotsman. Where's the accent? And I went, I know, I, I get it, I understand. And believe me, it's not easy, Levi, to get an interview with us here at Galaxy. Um, I don't know how Barbara does this, but she gets about 30 to 50 bands a day, get in touch with her. That goes to production. Barbara and production sort of uh, whittle that yeah. down uh, in a uh, sometimes friendly, sometimes not manner. And then it goes to a board of eight, and they decide whether it's good for our image. Yeah. Then finally it comes to me. Now what I do is I go and play you in the car. Now we were talking about cars and I'll cover this in a minute. Uh, but I play you in the car uh, where nobody else is with me. I make the final decision. Yes, we're going to go ahead with the interview and everything like that. Didn't know a thing about you at the time. i got to be honest with you, Levi. And I just base it basically on the quality of the music, if you know what I mean. And the, yeah, content, and the content of it. So I absolutely loved it. When I came back, production says, yeah, but he's Scottish. Where's the accent? <laughs> and, and I've got to agree with them. That absolutely floored me. It really, really did. Uh, but yeah. that leads into, of course, Barbara on her way to work early this morning. She says to me, yeah, I've just been talking to uh, Levi. He's quite fascinated that uh, we listen to him in our cars, which you can relate to now, uh, here in yeah. New Zealand and around the world. Uh, you're heard it's, everywhere. It's just so surreal. You know, it's really to think that I, I write on a piece of paper of my song and I get my guitar out and then all of a sudden people are listening all over the world and the cars to me. It's really surreal. Well, it, it, I've, I've got a couple of notes here on you, I've got to be honest, my friend, and it says here uh, that you wanted to be heard worldwide. Your goal is to make music and sing and be heard worldwide. Congratulations, 62 countries, 94 cities right now tuned in around the world. Wow. You are about to be heard worldwide. Now, I want to know about your smile. Tell me all about the lyrics of that. Right, well, that's really what I've, I've always always wanted in, in, in a girl. Um, and so I just thought I'd write something that uh, one day I can actually sing, sing to someone. Um, so that's really what that's about. It's just a, a really nice love song that I think some uh, girls would like to hear. <laughs> well, I, I tell you what, and believe me, after this, we're going to talk about how our fans can get hold of you. Uh, so your smile, uh, believe me, you're going to have 5,000 new fan book, uh, fans on your Facebook page in no time. Here is Levi Kobe right here at Galaxy with your smile. <laughs> You know, I'm sure it heats up when we start doing these interviews. Yes, it does. Hi, Chris Andreas. Chris. Chris Andreas. Um, Chris, congratulations. I am so looking forward to hearing the good news about you guys at Pat's Pub this weekend. Uh, we'd love to be able to get with you and Dwayne, maybe as Sean as well, uh, and have a one final push interview with you guys for the weekend. I mean, it's a galaxy event, isn't it? It's got to happen, right? Thank you for joining us today. Levi Kobe's with us. Now, Levi, are you comfortable there, my friend? Hello. 
Thank you. Nice, nice. We've got a few uh, superstars that are joining us this morning watching uh, our interviews, as we always do. Uh, at the same time, promoting a Kiwi artist today, good old Merv Penny. Yes. From up north. Yes, he is. And, and uh, always nice to be able to wear a, a, a particular brand name, especially, if, and uh, you might understand this, Levi, artists send us our, their brands, their t-shirts, everything like that. And while we're doing the interviews, you'll be surprised how many people take note of what I'm wearing subliminally and uh, they start finding out who you are, if you know what I mean. So well, it's yeah. just part of the uh, process of doing all of the promotions. When we get behind, yeah, awesome. when we get behind an artist like yourself, my friend, uh, we try and push as much as possible, keep you rolling here at Galaxy, which is not easy, I've got to admit. Um, yeah. Because uh, uh, I'm not saying we're on the higher end of the radio industry, we're, we're nothing like that at all. It's just that we seem to have a hell of a lot of friends out there that seem to want to eavesdrop a lot. Oh, we make a, <laughs> we make a great team. We do why. make a great team. I've got to be honest with you, Barbara, you make my show look good. You do. <laughs> oh, it's the beauty and the beast here, I've got to be honest with you. Yeah, I really do. So your next song is going to be Mama's Time. We'll have a chat about yeah. that. Uh, but at the same time, I do have fan questions that uh, want to be asked of you, if that's okay. Or like, how do we get hold okay. of you? Are you on Facebook? Are you on Twitter? Are you on Instagram? All that sort of thing. We'll cover that. Yeah, yeah. Um, we'll, we'll also cover a, uh, a few crazy things as well, just to make people smile like yourself. But in the meantime, yeah. let's go back to the desk. Yeah, chop, chop. Hi Steve Baker. Steve, hello my friend. You might like to um, hook up with Levi. Yeah, let, let me talk about yeah. this to Levi. Galaxy 107 FM and of course being joined by Levi Kybe and I absolutely am elated. Uh, now you are from Stirling in Scotland, now based in Nashville. Uh, you've had a bit of tragedy happen in your life and uh, was a big influence in your move I'm sure all the way over to uh, Nashville. That's a big, big, big leap don't you think? Yeah, yeah it was but um, I've always like oh, I always wanted to be like a country artist and, and make a difference in my music and um, I, I felt that everywhere I went in Scotland people were saying to me um, there's a couple of things and they're like we really love your style and music but you really belong in America you're in the wrong place and um, I was like okay and just by chance by God uh, I got the chance to, to come back to Louisiana to my I adopted family here, and uh, and then I got the chance to come to to New Zealand, and it was like wow, it really it opened my eyes. It was like wow, I'm in another side of the world, and people like me as well. This is crazy. You know, uh, so uh, you're familiar with New Zealand. Uh, uh, we've spoken about this uh, just recently, and I'm going to cover that very very shortly. But first of all, um, the fans are wanting to know. Believe me, they're uh, very very interested in this. How do we get hold of you, Levi? Are you on Facebook? Are you on Twitter? Are you on Instagram? But more importantly, do you respond? I'm, I'm on all media and I try and respond as much as I can. Um, I have so many people now on Facebook. I think it's up to like 22,000. Um, it's like I try, I try like every day I'll pick someone and I'll message them. Um, or if I, I want to say something um, and I feel like I, I really want everyone to know, I'll put it mainly on my Facebook and I'll apologise to people 
that I, I want to be really connected with my fans. But there's just so many that it is very difficult for me. But to know in my heart that they mean so much. Well, believe me, uh, Lee Boy, I understand 100% about that, uh, because believe me, uh, I didn't have a phone, would you believe, or any communications to the outside world other than doing the radio or the uh, uh, household phone, no texting involved, if you know what I mean, uh, for about two years. Uh, I, honestly, two years went by so quickly, just went home, I'm a private kind of guy from work, and go home, spend time with the family, if you can understand that. Uh, and yeah. Bar Barbara used to do all the Facebook and all the Instagram and all that sort of stuff for me. Uh, up until about two weeks ago when she comes to me and she goes, you know, I've just got so much work. You do it yourself. Please, take it off my hands. I'm just too busy. Uh, <laughs> now, now I'm being intrusive, uh, you know, being intruded everywhere I go. People are sort of uh, now texting me and everything like that. So uh, I can fully understand about oh, yeah. the around to it. So it's not that we're ignoring you, it's just that we're so busy, we're trying to get yeah. there. And I know, and I know that's the, the life that I want to, to, to live, um, and I know that's part of the, part of the program, part of the process. Um, well, I, I, I just really, um, I try as much as I can, um, because I, I really, in my heart, um, my songs don't live without my fans. Exactly. Now, at the same time, of course, it's your modern-day database of your fans these days, isn't it? Yeah. You know? Oh, yeah. Um, so I'm going to feel sorry for you because now you're going to get at least another five, 7,000 people who just want to Facebook you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I can, I can live with that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. While we're talking about it, how do we get hold of your music? Are you on uh, uh, Spotify? Are you on Amazon? Places like that. But more importantly, do you have a website where we can go to and get it from you? Well, the, the main one just now is a uh, Reverb Nation. Uh, that's when my, most of my stuff is. We're actually in the middle of making a uh, LeviCobie.com uh, uh, website. We're actually in the process of that. Nice. That just now. So, nice. Um, and then I, hopefully I can communicate either, uh, even more with my fans. Now that um, at the same time, Levi, are you going to put a merch store there? Because believe me, uh, I, I think you'll just sell a shipload uh, of, of merch on there. The koozies, the t-shirts, you name it. Uh, anything with Levi Kobe, because the response we've been getting is phenomenal. Uh, so believe well, me. Uh, it's, it's funny you say that because um, I've been trying to do it on my own and it's not really been, really, not been easy at all. Um, I actually just got my macho visa um, on the uh, uh, June there to, to be like legally here in the states, which is awesome. Thank God so much for that. Um, so that took a big weight off me, and now it's like we're just really just starting to get all this going. And um, so uh, on November first, I want to start a a Kickstarter campaign. Um, and, and plus, the thing I like about that is. It helps me, um, it helps my fans and my family and my friends all get involved in my journey and they can say, oh, we, we, were, we helped him do that and I think that's pretty, pretty awesome. Um, so uh, I'll be looking to start that on the 1st of November. So uh, I hope my friends and family and Martin fans of all uh, like that. Nice. Now, at the same time, uh, I want to talk to you about a forthcoming album. Now, have you got things in plan for that? Because, believe me, I, I think uh, with the amount and the quality of your work right now, an album would be uh, a, an ideal thing to get out to your fans. Yeah, well, this is why I'm trying to do my Kickstarter thing, because um, I've kind of came to a stumble point. As I said, I've been trying to do it all on my own. So uh, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully soon, uh, re really soon. Um, God bless me so much. I, I've written nearly 200 songs since I came here to the States. Um, I, just, I keep getting song after song. Uh, I feel really blessed. But the most thing, um, I, I don't know if you, you've known, but the most thing I like to do with my songs is I like to try and make a difference with my songs because... I feel that's why God gave me this gift. Um, and I'll be honest with you, what I went through in my life, if I didn't have my music, 
I think that's one of the reasons where it gave me it because it was the only thing that kept me going. Um, I had my guitar in my hat one hand and my life in the other. Uh, it was a big struggle. You know, I lost 11 people in two years. Uh, and when, you, when I lost my dad, uh, see, it's crazy. I have such a big story. Um, only 17 years ago, well, yeah, 17 years ago, I had a bad car accident. They told me I'd never work or walk again. Uh, my whole family sang. No one read or anything like that, but my dad, he sang like Jim Reeves. My dad is awesome. Um, so my dad was my, my hero. And uh, I kind of always wanted to be like him, but at the same time, I was set back. I was like, oh, the limelight's too, too big kind of thing. And uh, so um, I had this accident, and I was like, what am I going to do with my life? So I just happened to... Um, I, I'm saying it happened, it was all God's plan, I know that now. I got a guitar, I started writing the song, I wrote Your Smile, and people, and my friends, even my family were saying, is that some guy in Nashville that you're listening to? I was like, no, that, that's me. They're like, what? And then, so when a minute people heard me, they like, my God, you should really start this professionally, but you just try it out. Um, and, uh, so, um, it's been, music's been a lifeline, therapy, but I want to get back with my music. So, um, I came here, I've written songs for the troops, I've written songs for, um, the Hurricane Effort, I've written songs for St. Jude's Hospital, I'm actually in the middle of writing one for, um, Trainers Hospital, they don't know it yet, but I'm actually writing them a song, hopefully to help. Um, it's for the uh, handicapped kids in America. Um, uh, I just really want to be a lot good with my music. You know, I, I hear that, I really, really do, my friend, and I respect that so much. Uh, believe me, you're up for good causes. Uh, maybe one day you might have a look at uh, something like Suicide. Well, I've actually written a song um, about bullying and it's got like suicide in it because uh, I saw a lot of that over here in the States more than I saw in the UK and it kind of hit me a little bit. So I've written a song so I hope to to maybe record that one day. Um, it's about uh, bullying and let people see that although you're bullying people, it, it can go as far as people, as you say, taking their life. And then that, to me, that was just the last straw. Um, um, and that's one of the reasons I actually written uh, one of the songs I sent to Mama's Time. Um, I sat every time I looked at the, the TV here and the news, it was a shooting somewhere. And I was like, this is crazy. And then when I saw the um, people at a country concert getting shot at, and then then I turned the TV and it was people running from a church. I was like, oh my goodness, man, that just... And my mum's time, that was never... You know, the church was a sacred place where you felt safe. You, you know, it was the place you could go to where everything was right and God had your back. Um, and when people... When that, that line's gone, to me, that was... And I felt like God wanted me to write this song to show people that we have to turn back. Yep, and we have to go back. We have to go back to love and help people, support one another, look after your elders. That has to come back, or this this world's going to go to poor. You know something? I can hear the humanitarian inside you just coming out. I really, really can. And I fully agree with you, uh, believe me. I, I think this uh, shooting you were talking about, was that the one in Vegas? Um, uh, because we actually had yeah, a friend about... Yeah, there was, one, there was one in Vegas. There was a church in Tennessee. There was a school in Florida. It was like every state there was a shooting. And I was like, wow, what's going on in this world? Exactly. There's so much evil in it. We're, we're to stop. 
Exactly. Well, that one in Vegas, we actually had a friend of ours, a good friend of Galaxy's, on stage as that was happening. Affected him. It really, really did. And our heart goes out to everybody involved in that. Uh, speaking, of course, of shootings in uh, churches, stuff like that, we too experienced, just not so long ago, uh, a particular mosque down the not south of, you know, uh, tragic, absolutely, absolutely tragic, and we don't know uh, why these things go through these people's minds to be able to commit such a crime, if you know what I mean. Uh, I, I know, and it, and it touches, it touches, it's, it's like, they're like a couldn't be wrong, it's like a trying to they're trying to get one person, but it's touching so many. Um, it's not like they're just hitting one person. Um, well, there's just Texas, for instance. Um, there was a kid killed. There was women killed. Men killed. That's just wrong. It is. You know, it is. I fully agree with you, Levi. It really, really is. It was six months ago, uh, just a few days ago, that the uh, one down in Christchurch happened. And that touched not just the city itself, but the whole nation here in New Zealand. And also affected Australia as well, would you believe? So, you know, um, senseless. Absolutely senseless. Well, it's going to touch the world because it got back here to, to the States as well. Because um, I mind I've seen it. And I mind that... Uh, as I, I told you earlier, that my, my, my guitar was built in in, um, in New Zealand, and I've got I've got friends who it's crazy everywhere I'm going. You know it's crazy. I can mingle sitting at my mum and dad's grave, wondering, you know, like Father's Day and Mother's Day, going to miss all that, and, my, and having a family. I'm really a family person, and uh, having a like family and like everywhere I've went people have wanted me to become a, a family here in the States especially um, and, and in New Zealand as well people wanted to be my, my adopted mum and dad it, it was crazy and I just felt so blessed that God gave me this gift to, well, I don't know if it's just my gift I, I don't know but it, it felt, I just felt so blessed that people wanted me to be part of, of their life so I felt well I've got this gift, why don't I just try and give it all back? You know, I fully, fully understand where you're coming from, Levi, I really do. So, right here, right now at Galaxy 107 FM is Levi Kobe live with Mama's Time. <coughs> Oof. How are you feeling, Levi? You okay? Yeah, I'm fine, mate. Nice, nice. And uh, who else is joining us this morning? Oh, we've got Kathy Bell, Cheryl. Cheryl's with us. Yeah. From the Steve Blue Mariah Band. Absolutely love that. Also, um, I, uh, Chris Andres and Laconic Zephyr. Nice. I'm, I'm not sure if, if you know, but I'm actually up for 10 awards this year. Yeah, it's the Josie Awards, isn't it? No, I'm up for the Josie Awards. I'm up for the KICMA Awards. I'm up for um, the UK songwriters, and I'm up for uh, Hollywood Media and Music Award. <laughs> so you're not busy at all, are you? <laughs> <laughs> so um, the Josie Awards this weekend, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm actually playing on stage. Um, I'm, I'm one of the arts. Nice, um, nice. Well, I tell you what. Yeah. Let's talk about that. We won't give anything out of the bag, especially with the back. You know, these guys behind the scenes here that are watching on Facebook, you know, they get to get all the good information before anybody else. And then I find myself repeating myself. So, <laughs> you know, let's hold that one back for a little bit because we've got friends performing as well at the Jersey Awards this weekend. Um, and, and I really wish you all he the never best. I really, really talking. Thank you so much. What are you whispering in there, Barbara? I just said he never stops talking. <laughs> Well, you know, it's part of the trade, really it is. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, believe me, it's true though, it really, really is. And I thank everybody for joining us. Um, believe me, it's an absolute honour to have Levi Kobe joining us. Um, an original Scotsman he is, you know. And uh, Levi, I was going to say to you, I know what a Scotsman wears under his kilt. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, his shoes, right? His shoes. Oh, it's true, yeah. <laughs> Actually, when I went shopping yesterday, I saw a guy in a kilt and I nearly went up and said, you know, are you Scottish? I was too shy. I don't have the legs for it. 
I don't. I really, really don't. I have knobbly knees and all sorts of things. My mother could dance Chicken legs. Um, the sabres. All right. You know, she um, was quite a light foot in her time. Right? Yeah. You know. You know. You know. It's funny you saying that. Um, actually, when I was singing in, in New Zealand, um, I, I, I wrote a song for Scotland called "The Pipes," and uh, I sang it in New Zealand because I thought it was quite traditional. And uh, this lady actually came up to me. Um, I really can't remember where in New Zealand it was, but this lady came up to me, and she was actually a pipe major for Scotland, but she lived in New Zealand, and she couldn't believe that I wrote this song, and um, we're actually friends on Facebook now. Nice. Well, I'll tell you what, uh, let's go back to the desk, because I really do want to talk to you about uh, this weekend's performances and stuff like that. Can see up your ear. Can you? Oh, horrible. here at Galaxy 107 FM. Got to th thank everybody watching, especially Laconic Zephyr. Yeah, nice to have you girls there joining us. And of course, Chris Andreas as well. Please say hi to Jimmy for us, Chris, won't you? Uh, at the same time, uh, my friend, I'm talking to Levi Kobe live and uh, uh, some is starting to uh, slowly work its way out right now. Uh, I, I presume you're going to start preparing to do a bit of writing and stuff like that. Uh, have you got any shows coming up? And i got to say, uh, now uh, talking about shows, that this weekend is quite a big one with the Josie Awards. Yeah, yeah, I'm so so honoured to be actually playing there uh, with the lovely uh, Catherine Shipley uh, and Natalie Green. Um, it's uh, such a, an honour actually to play uh, at the awards. Um, Josie um, um, and her family have been so kind to me. Um, it's, yeah, it's been uh, lovely. I want to thank them. Thank you so much. You know, I, I would love to be able to be there to watch you live on stage. I really, really would. Uh, I think it's going to be a, uh, one heck of a kick-ass show, to be very honest with you. A couple of our friends, uh, female artists, by the way, are going up for awards there this weekend as well. So we wish everybody involved in the Galaxy family, uh, and that makes you too, unfortunately, I'm going to have to include you into the Galaxy family now that we've done an interview, so we've kind of adopted you as well, we were talking about it. Oh, no, thank you. Yeah, okay. I appreciate that. Well, uh, well earned, by the way. Uh, so, uh, not only having uh, the, uh, the award show coming up, uh, you've got a number of nominations uh, within the uh, show itself, don't you? Uh, yeah, I have, I have two, two nominations, um, uh, one for a traditional song, a country song, uh, and I'm up for a male, male songwriter. Nice. Well, I, I think you're uh, comfortably going to take that out. I really, really do. I believe that you're going to come home with, a, with a couple of nice, shiny new awards that you can stick on the mantle, if you know what I mean. Uh, if you do so... How would you like to send us a couple of photos? We would love to be able to see them. I, I would love to do that, yeah. Awesome, no awesome, awesome, awesome. Now, uh, now I've got to be honest with you, I was rather amused at this. Uh, Tim McGraw, Keith Urban, who you know is a New Zealander, and yeah. Taylor Swift are amongst the list of people of your influences. Uh, Taylor Swift, really? Yeah, I just, I've always loved their songwriting. Um, it's just, um, and, and I felt she was, I'm not sure about like the pop stuff now, but 
I mean, like when she's first started with her country songs, um, I, I, I love her style of writing. Uh, I just love her, her songs. You know, um, I, I got to agree with you. We, we actually have about three or four songs that we have on the playlist that are uh, top teners right now. And, and uh, one of her latest ones is Lover or Paper Rings. Keep an eye out for that one. It's one yet to come. Yeah. Uh, and the, She's actually uh, one of the artists I would actually like to, to sing with. Um, well, just to, um, if, as, a, as a country song, not... Not as a pop song. Well, I, I tell you what, if you manage to deal that one down, you get that one going, come back, bring us Taylor Swift as well. Let's do a dual interview with you guys. Well, that would be awesome. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, let's pray that happens. Yeah, 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 believe me, I would be there in a heartbeat if you said, hey, Grant, I've got Taylor Swift coming. I'd drop everything and say, let's do this. You know what I mean? Well, I'll tell you another one, actually, is in... Uh, has been for a long time is Dolly Parton. Um, I just just love Dolly. Um, <laughs> Everybody yeah, loves that. Dolly, you know. And you know, you, you made me feel so great when you played my song and you played Dolly and then you played me after it. I was like, oh wow, this is amazing. Well, um, um, the reason for that, my friend, and I got to be honest with you, most of the stuff that we play on the breakfast show uh, for the country and everything like that. Uh, actually our own artists that we've either interviewed or are about to. Now, uh, a band coming out of Australia f uh, called For God's, uh, for, for King and Country did a song on suicide. It's, it's all about suicide, would you believe, with Dolly Parton. Now, uh, we're getting an interview with these guys very, very shortly, and we were saying we would love to be able to have Dolly on board as well. Uh, apparently, they're considering it. All right, uh, well, that'd be awesome. Yeah, so um, I would love to be able to see you up alongside Dolly as well. Oh yeah, I'd love that as well. <laughs> uh, that is one of, what, one of my, my dreams is to, to write one of my songs and have to like it and maybe consider singing with me. That would be just a dream come true. You know, I, I can kind of see you uh, with Dolly on one arm and uh, Taylor on the other. Uh, <laughs> and <laughs> Facebook everywhere. <laughs> um, and yeah, well that would be pretty amazing. <laughs> now, uh, um, knowing that and it's funny you say, it's funny you say Cape Urban, um, because I, I, last year I played around uh, Nashville, and uh, it was like you with, with my voice, with my accent, and I stopped playing, and they were like, like, what's the joke? And I was like, did you know the song? They're like, oh no, we love the song. They're like. Are you from Texas and you're putting on this big Scottish accent? <laughs> and I'm like, no, no, I'm I'm really from from Scotland. And then I went to another place and they said to me, right, you this this is confusing. And I was like, okay, well, you you look like Tim McGraw, you speak like Keith Urban, and you sound a bit like George Spate. I was like, you couldn't have seen any more special to me in my life. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> brilliant, brilliant. Now, at the same time, you mentioned your father earlier on, uh, liking Jim Reeves. Uh, believe me, I can understand that. My mum was a big Jim Reeves fan back in the day. Uh, believe me, I got sick of him, <laughs> I really did. Uh, but at the same time, uh, you wrote a very, very special song for your father. Now, I've got to be honest with you, I'm getting stats in my ear right now. Uh, 2,715... Uh, uh, to the state have been requested, so uh, 2,715 uh, requests for this song, Cowboy wow. Up. Now, oh, wow. you wrote it for your father, so tell me all about it. How did you come to the lyrics? Right, well, my mum was a big Christian, and she loved Johnny Cash. My dad loved Jim Reeves, and uh, who else was it? Perry Cuomo and, and Don Williams. So that was like the country scene. But me and my dad, we always watched westerns. My dad watched westerns, and I can mind for a wee boy always watching westerns. Wanted to be a cowboy, uh, and and some of my family had horses, so it wasn't hard. Um, and uh, so I started writing this song, and one of my big influences actually is George Strait. Um, I got introduced to him a, a wee bit a wee bit later. Um, uh, and, and Garth Brooks and uh, so I thought I'm 
brought to write a song, but I'll make them. It's for my dad, but I'm going to make the metaphor about cowboys, about bull riding, and that's why I, I wrote Cow, Cowboy Up. And I actually got to let my dad hear it just before he died, and, and he absolutely loved it. Well, i got to be honest with you, uh, this was the very first song I heard of yours, and it was on a country road, because where we are, we're right in the middle of three cities. Little milling town, if you know what I mean. Uh, but we have yeah. plenty of country roads that we can actually just go and enjoy the day behind the wheel, if you really want to. Uh, and uh, as I said, I, I make my own decisions whether I'm going to go through with the interviews by what I hear in my car and drive around listening to it. So Cowboy Up was the very first song I heard and just absolutely fell in love with it straight away. So right Thank here, so much. right here at Galaxy 107 FM, joining Lead My Kobe Live is Cowboy Up. <laughs> hey, you going, Barbara? You all right? Yeah. yeah. This is the song I heard this morning. Right. In my yep. car. Yeah, in your car, that's right. I did play it. I promise you I did. How are you feeling, Levi? You okay there, my friend? Yeah, awesome. Mm. I can't believe so many people are listening to my song. Well, there really is. And in fact, uh, 6,323,000 right now are hooked in listening. And then there's everybody here on Facebook as well, which I've really got to thank you for. I really, really do. Wow. Um, having said that, Levi, believe me, uh, we have been playing you now for a couple of weeks and absolutely loving your style. We really, really are. Thank you so much. Us through the Galaxy page. Yes, yes. Galaxy page works, doesn't yes. it? It really does. And of course, there's talented people like you watching it every minute. <laughs> oh, no, I don't spend all my life. Yeah, I'll, I'll let you into a secret. These are actually my old songs. Uh, wait to hear my new ones. I can't wait. Come on, you're going to have to... Now you've teased me. <laughs> <laughs> you really have. Um, I okay. can sing you a little one if you like me to get my guitar. I don't actually have the time, unfortunately, at, at the moment. All right, that's okay. Um, we're going to have to wrap this up, but when we finish this, don't go anywhere, my bro. We've got a couple of things that we do after this. Okay, um, no problem. At the same time, we will give you a copy of everything we do. We'll... Tr yeah, if you get any good feedback on it, well, any feedback at all, I'd, I'd appreciate it. Nice, nice. Well, I'll tell you what, we'll, uh, this Facebook Live that's going live at the moment, we'll convert that over to YouTube so we can send you that as well. Um, most people put them in the bin when they get them, they go, oh, God, I don't what want to do that. we can do is uh, he can send some of his new stuff and we'll have a longer interview. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. And you can sing a song um, then. I will talk about but, that. Will, will, I have, will I have time to mention the other awards? Or? Yes, yes, um, we'll, yeah. we will do that. Um, <clears throat> unfortunately, we've, we're into the second of three interviews today. Yes, so it's, yeah. it's been a really busy day. So uh, Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I appreciate it. Nice, nice. But I would love you to come back again and we can do a longer interview, maybe some more new songs. We'd love that idea. Yeah, yeah, that'd be awesome. Yeah. Nice. Let's go back to the desk, right? That's right, you're right here at Galaxy 107 FM, 14 away from 11 o'clock, 21 degrees Celsius, uh, and I'm uh, sure that Levi would understand t Celsius as Fahrenheit, uh, but having said that, my friend, uh, we're going to have to wrap it up here for now, but uh, Levi, uh, you've got a very, very busy time, not only with the JC Awards, you've got other awards coming up in the future as well. How about telling us of what you've got in plan? All right, well, um, after the, the Josie Awards, uh, I think I'm playing for the troops uh, at VetFest in uh, October uh, in Tennessee. Um, I have the six uh, nominations 
for the KNC Emmy Awards. Uh, I have one nomination for Songwriter of the Year in the UK, uh, and I also have a, a Best Male Art a Country Artist at the Hollywood uh, Hollywood Music and Media Awards in, in California. You know, so you're not busy at all, really, eh? No. <laughs> <laughs> Rocking off his feet, it really, really is. Uh, Levi, it has been an absolute pleasure for us down here, down under in New Zealand, to be able to uh, not, not only play your music, but uh, to meet you personally, uh, and we'd love to be able to shake your hand anytime, any you, anytime you feel like coming to New Zealand, please. Look us up. We would love to have you. In I, I definitely will. If I make it back, I definitely will. Nice. It's been a pleasure. Nice. Well, I'll tell you what. Uh, we will talk about you coming to play here the next time we speak. Because, uh, believe me, we're going to be following this very, very closely. Now, uh, you're going to be releasing an album. How would you like to send us a few copies in the future? Maybe a little bit of merch so that we can keep not only your name but your music rolling here at Galaxy. Do a few giveaways. Yeah, I'd love to do that. Yeah, of course. Awesome. I will tell you what, I'll get Barbara to send you all the details of everything like that, uh, even if you throw in a t-shirt or two, uh, so we could uh, do it while we're doing other interviews with other people. You never know, you might get a very bit of a response out of it, and I'm finding that people really are these days. So, uh, Levi, pleasure meeting you, my friend. Looking forward to you coming back in the near future to give us some brand spanking new stuff. Love to be able to do that. Thank you for joining us. It's such a pleasure, and thank you all for listening to me. Um, you all have a lovely day, and God bless. Thank you. There you go. Levi Kobe, coming out of National Music City right now. You're right here at Galaxy 107 FM. Here's Paul Hardcastle. <laughs>